Hey everyone! Welcome back to Maddie's Creative Corner. It's so good to have you here. Today we're going to be trying another new product that I came across. Um, I don't know if you've seen watercolor nail art. Um, some people use inks for it and the product we're going to be using today is not an ink based product. Um, but it's super fun, super interesting. I made a short video like a few days ago using something similar. I got these from a friend and I cannot, I'm just so excited to share this with you. They're just so cool. So let's get straight into the video. So this is the product we're going to be trying today. So here you can see, um, these are watercolor pigments. So you can see like in comparison, they're really, really tiny pots. They're super small, um, but they're super pigmented. And I've seen other people use this online. You can see kind of like how small and cute they are. They look like this. And you can see they're just solid completely. The whole thing with these is that you need water to um, paint on your nails with them and people use it to create kind of like marble designs or anything of that sort uh, today we are going to be creating a kind of like a nude brown metallic like marble design and we're also going to be trying some glacier nails and yeah i'm just super excited to get into this for the glacier nails we're going to be using my favorite uh clear gel by Christina Artesio and some saran wrap. In the video, the short video that I mentioned, I actually tried these ones. They are even smaller than these ones. <laughs> They're just so cute and it's such a cute little container. So these are the colors. Um, I kind of hope you guys can see them well. In real life, they look a lot prettier. Let me see if I can dim my light a little bit, see if I can okay there we go okay so this is closer to what they look in real life they're super reflective super pretty oh my gosh i like them so much you can see i've used this three so you like they look a lot more metallic than the other ones now let's up the brightness again and let me see if i can show you here yay okay so you can see here what they look like they look super pretty these were the products that we're going to be using and let's jump straight into the tutorial. <laughs> so for today's look we're going to be using this full cover stiletto tips and I really wanted long ones so that I could use like the icicle or glacier effect to its fullest potential and you can see I'm just using my usual clear rubber base by Christina Artesio to adhere them and the little lamp that I got from AliExpress a while back. Uh, I will make sure to include the link of it in the video in case you want to get it if you're newer to the channel, but I have it linked in a previous video as well. So after picking out the right sizes, I'm just going ahead and repeating the same process to adhere these to my nails. So as I mentioned previously, we're going to be using some plastic wrap for today's nails and I've made a plastic wrap tutorial in the past where I used gel again. For this uh, time, we're going to be putting it on the underside of the nail and then we're going to be placing the plastic wrap right on top and just crunching it around with a wooden manicure stick. The most important thing to keep in mind about these nails is to place enough gel on the underside of the nail and to also go in with a layer of base coat first so that the gel adheres to your nail and stays on as long as possible. And you can see they're super easy to put together. If there's any coming through from the sides, you can just go ahead and use nail clippers like these ones to just cut it off. And I just wanted to show you this cute little cappy that I got. It's so cute, it's like a cat paw. So yeah, you can see I'm just using nail clippers to just take down the icicle thingy from the sides and it looks really really good. 
So I'm just going to be repeating the same process for a couple of the nails. I just really really loved putting this together and it's so much easier to do than the original plastic wrap nails. So yeah, just make sure you put enough gel on the underside of the nail, scrunch it up with a plastic wrap that is for food. You need it to be as thin as possible and easy to manipulate. One more thing that you should keep in mind when doing these nails is that because we're using gel, uh, the underside of the nail is going to be sticky and it's going to collect dust or whatever else you use. So make sure that you clean the underside with some cotton or a wipe and some uh, nail cleanser, whatever you like. And yeah, after that is done, I'm going to go ahead and apply a layer of base coat to all of the nails. And right on top of that, after it cures, I'm going to apply a layer of matte top coat so we can start using those gorgeous pigments that we got. So for today's look, we're going to be going in with those bronze and golden shades. And I also picked out that white shimmery one because it really reminded me of snow. And you can see I just added quite a bit of water in it and it came to life immediately. It's so pigmented and so easy to use. And yeah, with a small brush, I just went ahead and started applying it all over the nail randomly. I just really wanted to hide the part where the glacier nail starts and my natural nail ends. And I'm just going to continue the same process with all of these colors. I will just go ahead and put water and just move them around. The pinky and the thumb I'm going to create like an ombre effect almost. You can see here that I'm just doing it in reverse on the thumb. And yeah, they just made my work so much easier because they're super easy to blend together. All you need is a little bit of water and if they're too pigmented, you can just dilute them with some water. I also tried uh, using these with alcohol, but it was drying too quickly and I just could not use this. So for the last color, I applied a little bit with my brush and then I started tapping it in. I didn't really want the color to stay, I just wanted the metallic effect that it left behind. For the final part, I just wet my brush as much as possible and I started fading the sides of the copper color that we used first just to give it a more gradient effect. And after that, I pretty much just left them to dry and they really didn't take long. So I just decided to go ahead and pick out all the rhinestones and caviar beads we'll be using. As always, I'll be using some of my Vanellisa nail glue to put the gemstones on. and. I decided to go with the pinky and the thumb for the rhinestone designs because the other nails already had a lot going on and I didn't want to take away any of their shine. So as always, I am applying a layer of top coat on top of the Vanellisa gel and on top of that without curing, I am applying all of my crystals. I kind of tried to create a gradient effect with the crystals as well, so it goes from like darker to smaller all the way up. And then I used these beautiful copper caviar beads and I cured it in the lamp for 30 seconds. And I repeated the same design just upside down on the thumb. Lastly, I went ahead and I applied a layer of glossy top coat to the rest of the nails and here we can finally start to see just how gorgeous the glacier effect is looking. Last but not least, we're going to be applying some cuticle oil to nourish our cuticles. And here is the finished look. These are so, so pretty. I am absolutely in love with the glacier design. Let me know what you guys thought of it and if you would wear it. I would absolutely love to make these on a client. They're so beautiful. 
so special. The rhinestone uh, placement I really really like. I think on both nails it looks really really cute and really different. It's so beautiful. So yeah, these are absolutely stunning. I had so much fun putting these together. If you guys liked this video, leave a like and a comment telling you what you thought. Subscribe for more videos every single Tuesday. Actually, pretty much every single day at this point. I kind of like post small videos every single day or every other day. And my longer regular uploads are on Tuesdays. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's look. They look so cool. I am so glad that I finally got the chance to try this look. And yeah, I will see you uh, next week with another tutorial. Say bye bye. Bye. <laughs>